The Belton High School Theater Department is putting the last minute touches on their performance of the musical Beauty and the Beast with a mic check and vocal warm ups. The kids have shouldered a lot of the responsibility, which is good for high school theater and the educational purposes. They need to learn how to do it, and they're excelling at it, so it's really exciting to see everything come up and me just standing in the middle watching it build around me and just look really awesome. A cast of Gordy and a crew of 20 students have brought a tale as old as time into 2016 and made it magnifique. The costume design is fully um, our technical director, Mel Edwards, and her students um, put all of them together. Set design, it's kind of a combination between uh, Mel and myself. Um, I'll kind of give her ideas of what I'd like to have in a certain scene, some things I'd like have to have. Um, and then, again, her and her tech kids come in and they knock it out and make it beautiful and make me go, yay! Based on the smash hit 1991 Disney movie and dating back to a late 18th century classic French fairy tale, Beauty and the Beast tells the story of Belle, played by Adriana Hernandez, a beautiful and intelligent young woman who feels out of place in her village. She lives in a small town and she's kind of weird because she reads so much and she's just different from everyone else. Like everyone else is kind of okay with their small little lives, but Belle really wants to like get out there and uh, explore and like have a big adventure. How can you read this? There's no pictures. Tell us some people use their imagination. Belle, it's about time you got your head out of these books and paid attention to more important things. Thank you. Exactly. The whole town is talking about it. It's not like right. to read. Soon, she starts getting ideas and fainting. Because of Belle's beauty, an egotistical, self-centered man by the name of Gaston decides he must have Belle as his bride, even though it's apparent he doesn't love anyone but himself. And I really like the scenes that, that have uh, our Gaston. Um, Nathan LeBlanc Stunner hit a home run with the role. He's obnoxiously great in the role, so. And then there is Gaston's groupies, who would gladly accept his hand in marriage. And Gaston's sidekick, Le Fou, who can't seem to realize he is just a pawn in Gaston's evil plots. Just get me a deer for my wedding, please. I hate the woods! It's dark and scary! There's lions and tigers and bears! Belle's father, Maurice, is an inventor, and townspeople think he is kind, but quite peculiar. On his way to show off his latest creation, Maurice gets lost in the woods and winds up locked in a cell by a beast, played by Nick Hogger, who was once human. Who are you? Uh, Maurice. What are you doing in my castle? And um, as most of you probably know, the beast is a... Uh, Somebody who is, uh, has been enchanted uh, into a hideous beast, he used to be a handsome prince uh, because he was too vain and too selfish. And so basically he's given a limited amount of time to fall in love with someone and have them love him too uh, in order to turn back into a prince, which is his goal. So he's been living in seclusion in this mansion with the rest of his enchanted castle. The evil spell also changed the beast's servant staff into objects they seem to represent as humans, like a teapot, a dancing carpet, candelabra, dust feather, and this clock played by Kyle Cordova. I've been turned into a clock, Lumiere has been turned into a candle, and um, we are still somewhat like human-esque, but we're slowly turning more and more every day into things. I grow a winding handle on my back, and Miss Potts gets stiffer and stiffer to move. Belle finds her imprisoned father and agrees to remain with the beast if Maurice is set free. Wait, wait. I said there is nothing you can do. Take me instead. What did you say? Take me instead. I think it's great. I love this musical. Like even when I was little, like I like I, went, I remember going to Disney World and I was dressed up as Belle because she was my favorite. 
and so it's really cool to be able to play her now. Like I'm super excited about it. The Bee servants realize that if they can help Belle and the Beast fall in love, the spell would be broken and they could be human again. Uh, I guess my favorite song would have to be Human Again. Uh, it's uh, one of the, um, I guess, first songs from the show I sort of heard like way back, way, way back in the day, ones I can remember. And I always just like the little tune to it. And also that's the song where I have a little bit of a solo. And so it's fun to just be able to be in the center stage and being all Cogsworth and stuff. It's a very exciting time for these inanimate objects. And they are so happy to have Belle as their guest. But will the Beast and Belle make a love connection? It's difficult to fall in love with someone if you're not really attracted to them. Um, and so for him, it, the lesson is... Uh, for the beast, personally, the lesson is to be less selfish and just learn to love people. Will Gaston ruin everything with his devious and selfish plans? Joan says he hopes to see many children in the audience opening night. My two boys are always at rehearsals, kind of hanging out, and when we leave, they're singing the songs, and they know everything that's going on, so when they grow up, they're going to know Beauty and the Beast the way I did, so I hope we get a lot of young people young kids in the audience to kind of experience the same thing and take away from this and one day join us on stage, so. Don't miss this fairy tale fantasy of Beauty and the Beast, January 21st, 22nd, and 23rd at 7 in the evening, and January 24th at 3 at the Belton High School Performing Arts Center.